Welcome to this segment of SII Motivational Minutes with your host Dwight Lee. On this segment, we're going to be talking about creating a new story. If you're stuck right now in any area of your life, the reason that you are stuck is because the story that you keep telling yourself. So basically, there's the undesired result and then there's the desired result. But you continue to tell yourself the old story. You may make mention of, hey, I want this promotion at this job, or I want to get a new car, or I want to buy a home. But then you come right back and you tell yourself that, oh, my credit is not where I need it to be. I don't have the down payment, um, this, that, and the other. You know, Instead of you going to look at a home that you really like, and then initiating the process to see where you're at in the process so you find out what right steps to take that will actually get you the home. But you don't do that. You just tell yourself these stories and make up all the excuses. Oh, my credit's not right. I don't have enough in savings. Um, I don't think I can afford it. It's these stories that's keeping you where you're at. Unless you commit to doing the process and finding out exactly where you are, you're not going to advance. Here's why. Because your inner conversation is going on all day, every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So if you continue to say the same information to yourself over and over again um, and expect a different result, that's fulfilling the definition of insanity. So what I would advise anyone to do, whether you're going to get a house, you're going to get a car or anything else you need to go see for yourself you know what the process is engage in the process and find out where you are regardless because you know you have to do work but you're never going to get started in doing the work if you don't if you don't go find out where you are in the process and then the most important piece even above the physical action is the story that you're telling yourself you are going to have to tell yourself a new story Okay, you're going to have to let go of any benefits that you think that being in your current condition is giving you because it's a false payoff. You're not receiving any benefits being in the condition, the situation and the circumstance that you're in. It's your mind. Your brain is playing tricks on you. So what you need to do is you need to step out of your situation and become the observer. And then you need to go initiate these processes of getting a car of getting a home or trying to date because no one's just going to come to your house. I mean, besides the mailman, you know, or maybe someone that's doing like lawn care, but you're going to have to get out, mix and mingle, get the processes started and see where you're at. So you can make adjustments. You can figure out what's the next right move, so on and so forth. But the first thing that you're going to have to tap into before you do any physical activity is begin to tell yourself a new story and then begin to listen to your intuition for guidance. We've been live on the SII Motivational Minutes with your host, Dwight Lee, talking about transitioning from your old story into your new story to make the things that you desire to see manifest in your life manifest. I'll leave you with this quote. Fall seven times, stand up eight. Nobody is perfect. Everyone in sales has to go through no's to get to yeses. You can't have the fear of rejection. Everything's not going to work out perfect the first time, but you just have to be diligent. You have to be persistent. You have to be resilient. You have to keep going for what you want until you get it. You are the only one that can bring the things that you want into your life, into your life. No one else can't do it for you. I know there's rare one-offs where someone gets a weird gift, so on and so forth. Don't depend on that. Depend on you. Believe in yourself as you will believe in God. Have faith in yourself as you have faith in God. The universe is working for you, not against you. Okay? Thank you.